you can help SSA approve your Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI, application. If you're disabled, your physical, mental, and financial existence is affected. Preparing and submitting a Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI, application doesn't guarantee you'll be approved to receive these benefits. Many people in dire need of disability benefits have their request for SSDI rejected. It's essential to ensure you have all the information in hand and back up your application with reports from medical treaters, including doctors, MDs and DOs, and mental health professionals. You can help SSA approve your SSDI application by providing all the information SSA asks for. Plan to tell Social Security Administration everything they need to know. Don't leave any questions on the application unanswered. If one or more of the questions don't apply to your situation, let SSA know that. Social Security wants to know about your illnesses, conditions, and medical treatments and your work history. Although SSA has an account record of Social Security earnings, plan to provide information about the kind of work you do. This information is relevant to the determination of disability process. Part of the SSDI application asks for information about your work record. Tell SSA how many years you've worked. If your work history is short relative to your age, provide the reasons for it. Explain how your work has been affected by disability. Your disability may be physical or psychological, or a combination of both. Dealing with a physical disability causes many people to experience depression, especially when the ability to live life as they did in the past or pay the bills on time is affected. If you're trained to perform a specific skill and you can no longer perform it because of disability, Social Security wants to know about it. Part of the disability determination process considers whether you can currently perform another kind of work. For example, if you're a skilled goldsmith and you're suffering with multiple sclerosis, your fine motor skills may be affected. SSA wants to know if it's possible for you to perform another kind of job today. Submit a complete record of every physician or therapist visit, include every treatment and medicine you were prescribed, and record the diagnosis diagnoses from your providers in the SSDI application. If you've visited many providers over a long period of time, consider including a chart that includes the date you visited the provider. Cross-reference the chart with medical records and notes to support it, Failure to provide the information requested in the SSDI application can cause a rejection but providing too much disorganized data can make it difficult for SSA review professionals to connect all the dots. Leave nothing to chance. Submit the information requested, but do what's possible to streamline the reviewer's tasks.